Welcome to the Tiger TV postgame wrap up here inside the Pete Maravich Assembly Center following the LSU Tigers loss to the Georgia Bulldogs. I'm Morgan Beard here alongside Taylor Curette and in the final game of the regular season the LSU Tigers came out here in front of a home crowd and did something they haven't done much this year and that's lose a game here at home. Yeah it's funny they uh, snapped a seven game road losing streak yeah. on Thursday by beating Vanderbilt and then they snap a seven game home winning streak by losing to Georgia in the final game. Um, a little bit ironic, but really it's it's the problems that have been plagued them throughout the season. It's not defending the perimeter. Georgia was 9 of 15 from behind the arc. Um, Charles Mann had 22. Kenny yeah. Gaines had 20. Um, it, 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 they have small guards. Anthony Hickey, Andre Stringer. You, you want to have Andre Stringer on the floor, but especially on senior night, but it, it's tough to guard those lengthy guys, and that's been a problem for them the entire season. Georgia shot 60% from outside of the arc, which is far and away uh, uh, surpassing their, their season averages. And uh, on the flip side, for LSU's offense, Johnny O'Brien, only five points yep. here tonight in the regular season finale. What did Georgia do to kind of contain him tonight? Double team yep. um, all night, and in the first game it was foul trouble, but they were just double teaming him. And uh, I don't know if that's a season low of five points, but... Uh, it's got to be down there for sure. And he had uh, five turnovers. He had as many turnovers as points. Yeah. That's something that just, of course, you're going to have a loss when that happens. Yeah. And, um, you know, Andre Stringer had a good game on senior night, 22 points, one short of his career high. Mm -hmm. But I think he would rather uh, get the win than have a good senior night. And speaking of Andre Stringer, after the game, he and his teammates had a few words to say about what happened here inside the PMAC following the loss against Georgia. I was more concerned with my team and uh, moving forward and uh, getting a win before conference play, but I mean before AC tournament. But you know, uh, can't do nothing about it now. Yeah, it just wasn't it just wasn't a great night for me, man. Most importantly, you know, I just hate to send you know Andre and Siobhan off with a loss, man, because you know those guys mean the world to me. So you know, it's 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 tough. Preseason in terms of prior to conference, that was the first season, and then conference play being our second season, about to start our third season, and uh, we can push aside what was transpired now and uh, we've got to make sure that we prepare it for a real tough conference tournament. And as you just heard Johnny Jones talking about a third season coming up and that's the SEC tournament that he alluded to and Taylor they are actually going to face the Alabama Crimson Tide a team that they lost to on the road earlier this year. What do you think the Tigers postseason prospects are looking like going into the SEC tournament? LSU needs to get at least to the finals yeah. especially after a loss at home to Georgia if they want a shot um, to make it into the NCAA tournament. And it's been a story for the last month or so. You know, LSU Tigers on the bubble, off the bubble, on the bubble again. And after another loss, right now they are off that bubble. But like you just said, with the strong showing in the SEC tournament, anything could happen. The Tigers are not officially out of the NCAA tournament as of right now. But for Taylor Curette, I'm Morgan Beard. This has been the LSU Tiger TV postgame wrap-up following the LSU Tigers' loss to the Georgia Bulldogs.